celebrated Homo War Festival with series of events that highlighted the importance of unity, skill development and community welfare. According to the former Secretary for the House of Chiefs in Bawe, Mr. Solomoni, in his engagement with Nation One TV said that the Homo War Festival celebration was put aside to celebrate Ghana State with the aim of promoting African tradition by using the culture to educate the younger generation. <coughs> Mr. Solomon said he is going to use his office to execute authority against the practices of LGBTQ. He said there's a need to protect Ghana's democracy by avoiding the deception that comes from politicians. We want to promote the black tradition. Okay. The revival of the black tradition. Okay. We have to go back to our tradition. You see, when we are saying that Africa tradition, Africa tradition brings dissent and unity and respect. Today you we don't respect because we don't believe we think the uh, we, oh, my small boy will tell me that, ah, that uh, we are in a global world. What kind of global world? We are an African and we have to cherish our culture. We have to go back and take our culture because our culture is more respectful. Our dressing is decent. The way we talk to our people, the way we eat, the way we do everything is show that we are an African. Now the family has taken the opportunity to because a lot of the youth are spoiling these days. So we will use the culture to educate the people. We use a culture to educate our children. Today, we don't have a, a, a mash meeting in the area of Bawe here. For some of us, we sleep in that mash meeting. If you ask my son, my son thinks maybe he can see me, I'm uh, sitting in the car, I'm sleeping in air condition, you know, I'm eating good food and the rest. But in the early time, we carry bamboo and shoot up in our hand and put fish, gobi in our hand. Today, we cannot do it anymore. So we have to go back and to our rich culture and let our young guys who are coming, our people who are coming, our children who are coming, to know that we are not Africans. We are not coming from the Western culture. We cannot copy the Western culture behavior. If we will follow their behavior, it will reach sometimes our children that we will all be better. We will not respect our father as a custodian. My father is a chief. He might fight me. My mother was a fourth wife. My mother gave birth to six. My father gave birth to 22 people. So my mother has contributed to the development of Ghana. We cannot, people who are making analysis, I don't believe that because they, have, they want to copy the Western culture. I knew a football party, I'm a guy, <laughs> and I believe in my tradition. So I will never support, I will never support gayism programs and policy. Me, I will never support. Because I'm a, a, a guy, and I've been, I'm in Africa, and I believe in tradition. Because how can a man sleep with a man, a woman sleep with a woman? If that's the case, then our fathers will not bother themselves to give birth with us. The Bible said we should give birth to people in the head. Bible is not only like she. I can not she go on. You have a son. You should go on. I can not she. You can go on. You know that you are that person doesn't respect the culture and the traditions of Africa. I cherish my culture and I always protect my culture. I will use my powers, small powers that I have, as a family secretary of the uh, uh, family to proclaim the African tradition. That we need to believe in our tradition. Look at the way I dress, and I'm I'm African. So the youth, is it politics? Eh? Politics like <laughs> I'm a Christian. You are Muslims. You have your belief. You have your philosophy. I also have my philosophy as a Christian. We don't need to fight. Politics is what it is sharing of ideas. At, at least every government that come to power contribute its quota to the development of this country. You, you, you see, so we cannot use politics as a form of violence. When you see your brother is in an MPP, then you are going to fight with the MPP. No, I don't do that. My duty is to protect what I can contribute to the development of this country. So me, even though I'm a tradition, 
but I'm also a politician. So me, I don't speak against any uh, a personal attack to any political party. But if your politics is not good, I will speak against. It's not good. It's not helping us. That's all. All right. So that is my ideas. My final word is to the youth that we need to protect Ghana democracy. We need to protect our democracy. We should all know that this democracy is too expensive to us. We, the current generation, we have seen democracy. Democracy. Democracy is giving us so much opportunity. Democracy has opened rapid development in this country. So I appeal to the youth. Let's protect the democracy. Do not receive money for somebody and say, go and vote for me. Vote with your conscience. Vote with your thinking. Vote for government who have the proper ideas, who can promote the interests of the youth, who can promote the development of the youth. Because the dollar, no. The dollar, the dollar is too much. Uh, protecting the boundaries of Gary and his contribution to the Asle traditional area as a warrior. This festival was set aside. After we all the dance, we celebrate the whole the Hamal festival, which everybody who is a dance celebrates. Now we call it the Gamashi festival. So after the Gamashi festival, our belief is that we eat with our ancestors. We we pray with them. We do everything with them. Then they have died and go. So after we celebrate the whole entire Ghana festival, in the two weeks time, we also go to the Royal Cemetery and also go and spin the couple today. And then remember them. I was told by my mother and my um, uncles that during that time, they, everybody will cry in the morning to remember them. And come out the stories about their life, telling the story about their life, their contribution, the role they play in Bondi Barry Kingdom. Nimisa Latela Fio died in 1924 and today is 100 years. The family has planned to celebrate the centenary celebration in the year 2025. The 2025 next year, the festival will be different and then we are going to showcase the rich culture in our heritage. <laughs> Beni eti si komene ina afio ha kelu mo afio wo drumo wo se afie wo se afie wo ba tu beja no tu fe ni wo ba ko ni wo ba kra no fe no e kai mo ni bi ni ta ke ma bi ku mele e wo ba wo mo ni e wo ba ku me ba wo pa no ni ma bi fe ana ali ta ke bo ni gba wo pa ke wo ku e e ka si ha wo ba kra mi Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.